Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more RimWorld Alpha 12D. Build a little bit more wooden wall. Expand this thing out a little bit. Alright. Yeah, that sounds about right. And we'll put up a wooden door in between them. We can get an outer door as well. Have all these rooms connected, this seems fine. The turbine looks like it's still got enough space, right? Apparently it's not very pretty. We need defenses! Well, that's really more of a suggestion. How are we doing on training? Still can't quite get him working on hauling. But it just, I just like the idea of a husky running around hauling stuff just because it can. Five melee DPS. I'm not sure exactly, like, what that means. Life expectancy of 12. Do we have life expectancy for humans? We do. 80. 63. Uh-oh. Just so you know, 80 is about as long as you can expect to live. Pulling 60 steel. Now, is it just me, or should you be able to carry more than that? Like, you're able to carry... Wait, no, it says you can only carry 45. So how come you're able to carry 60? Aha, you're not. That answers that question. O'Connor failed to harvest. Hey, dude, why don't you finish this job first? So, part of the reason why I like the idea of getting him to carry it, look at that, 75, he can carry a lot. Now load that dog down. What kind of beds did we make? Normal, normal, good. It's a good quality bed. Pretty nice. A cozy mattress. A good attribute gives it a slight modifier to its rest effectiveness. Not bad. All right, Blush. Yeah. Get to work. He's interested builds better constructors build structures and furniture faster and of higher quality. We need to build some more beds for us then. Okay, we have visitors. Let's first off queue up. I want to just build more beds, more wooden beds. And we will put them I don't know, just kind of off center from the top of the room. Doesn't need to be symmetrical. So just have a group of visitors. Flea and Salinas. Okay. Blocked by oak tree. Ah, okay. You live and you learn, right? We want to just cut all the things. Chop wood, no. Cut plants. Kill all of them. Down to there, up to there. I'd kind of hoped to get a little bit more done, but it's nighttime already. So, am I supposed to interact with the visitors at all? Are they even still on the map? There they are. Can we talk to them? He's got a shoddy steel shiv. Why'd you guys come in the middle of the night? What are you, crazy? It's three in the morning. Are you trying to steal our stuff? I'll kill you. Don't you touch my medicine. 
Medicine's starting to decay because we're leaving it outside. We gotta get it indoors. Let me source some medicine over here for now. So it's gonna be manufactured medicine with slightly higher priority. So our general stockpile. This is still storing raw food, which we'd kind of prefer it not to. Also, I need to build, like, a table. I'll pack a wool armchair. There's an eclipse. So every single area needs to be cleared out, huh? Probably not the, the grass. Yeah, there's a lot of people visiting. Grub. Let's put O'Connor down here. He should be a little bit happier now. It does make sense that this doesn't work with trees in the way, but I was not expecting that. You guys look a little bit more, more foreboding. You all have guns. What's your problem? So can I tell you, like, talk to him. They're just checking us out. There's a mad squirrel! Actually, no, it was not a... Oh my, are you serious? This tortoise just killed a human. <laughs> that is insane. Well, um... I'm not going to mess with that. Just leave it up there. Ooh, it's superior, though. It's a superior steel knife. It's worth 156. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, That's great. It just got killed by a freaking tortoise. That is a poor quality bed. Let's uninstall that one. We'll move it and give it to Grub. Oh hey, connected rate. It's actually generating a little bit of power now. Power output 32 watts. Still blocked by the oak tree. Interesting how sometimes it's got power generation. Okay, could you guys like stop bugging us? Get out of our house. We didn't invite you here. What are you doing? You guys are just consuming meals next to O'Connor while he's trying to sleep? That's rude. Hey, get out of here. One out of eight on hauling on deep. There we go, 320 watts. So it's quite variable. And we need to run more power. Unfortunately, it's connected there, but I can't actually get that through there. No trading capacity. Alright, we should do that. It's only 50 steel. Do like an orbital trade beacon, so let's say right in the center area would be fine.
You think it'll get destroyed if I leave it outside? I think it can, I think it can get electrocuted. We need this thing, this one to be outside, but this should really be underneath the roof. Now I've got a bed that we can install. Probably get at least one battery. Uh oh. Uh oh. You got hit by the turtle! Watch out, dude, he'll kill you. You <laughs> he's gonna run you down! He bit you in the back! He bit you in the jaw and in the left arm? What? Oh my gosh. Flesh, with his horrible move speed, he's got a pistol. I'm pretty sure he can't outrun you. This is ridiculous. Oh my god, there's so many people visiting! <laughs> oh my god, this turtle! This is nuts! Thank you! Okay, go get- go get treatment. I need a medical bed. Get him! Thank you. Good job, Grub. What a shame. God, there's so many people visiting. This is crazy. Oh, wow. That's a lot of power now. I guess part of the drawback is that it is, uh, connected rate. Okay. So we still have, we have a ton of excess power. So these are connected now, is what you're saying. Yeah, this is all hooked up now. Alright, cool. A wanderer joins. A villager named Keys, Kess, has arrived and is joining the colony. He's a graphic designer. Excuse me? He's watching the eclipse. He's a human. That's good. He likes animals, just like we do. He's artistic, like most of these nerds. Okay with social. He's a mining, growing kind of guy. Cool. So let's check his labors right away. So you like growing, huh? That's cool. I like growing, and then it said that you liked, uh... You like mining, too. I haven't designated any mining yet. You also have a passion for cooking. I'm sure that'll get done. Alright, so we need that fourth bedroom to be opened up now. Flesh, Grub, O'Connor. Doing kinda okay on food, but we need to actually get more food coming in. I'm actually starting to think that I'm not gonna- I need to make the rooms. Like, I was gonna start turning already. But that's not gonna be very many people. We're gonna need to make it even even longer. Locked by a tree again. So I probably need to pave this area.
I don't like how they just come visiting for like no reason. Yeah, yeah, we need defenses. And they're all passing out on the floor. Alright. Two out of eight on the hauling. A wooden mace. <laughs> That's what you brought? It's just a wooden mace? Well, everybody's doing something. What are you up to? Hauling wood to build a chair. Going for a walk. Wandering, that's useful. Cooking simple meals. And we're getting no power at all. Okay. Well, I had hoped that... Wind power was going to be a lot more stable, but apparently it's not. So we do need to have batteries to store. Question is, where do we want to put them? They are fairly hideous. And I don't think we want them outdoors. Make make like a small battery room here. And we'll give it a door just to access it. I don't think we need to worry about that. I think they can climb over it, right? Actually, maybe not. Hmm. We'll dig that out. Kind of annoying that I have to do that on every single spot. You know what? There's probably a like a zone or area thing. Claim. Yeah. Never mind. So we could have done it that way. We're gonna dig that out. And that'll be the access part. We'll build a wooden door here. Good! Get off my map! Bunch of dummies. That is... Oh god. Oh god. It's a Skyther! Oh my god! <laughs> Psychic Animal Pulsar. Ancient Crypto Sleep Casket. Psychic... What the hell are these things? One use artifact which gives a temporary mood boost to everyone on the map. Been here for a very long time. Who knows what it might contain? Oh god. What is he doing? Melee attacking the cook stove! Crap! Area was revealed. It's a hostile mechanoid. I, I think that this thing is going to kill my entire... everything. Two articulated blades to make them deadly in melee. They don't use cover. Best handled by concentrated overwhelming force. Never eats. Very fast. Okay, prepare for the entire party to die. Um, everyone's drafted. So we're going to select... How do we do this? Go to squads. I'm going to select all colonists. Is there not a button to just select all colonists? Oh, 
I just double click on any colonist, okay. Okay, dog. This is gonna be I'm I'm absolutely terrified. Yep, you're dead. I think you need to run away. He's still going for the cook stove. That's good. Cook stove just took like 24 points of damage. O'Connor has, uh... Watching for targets. Uh, you have no weapon. I guess you equip a, a knife. Or a psychic shock lance. One used artifact that disrupts... Directs psychic disturbances toward one character, dropping them into a state of psychic shock. Alright, no. We don't want any of that. You have a wooden mace. I really feel like getting in range of this guy is a horrible, horrible idea. Jesus Christ. We are so screwed. You can't shoot from there? I really feel like you getting out in the open would be a horrible idea. Okay, well we hit it. It's injured. In the right arm. Which is great. Efficiency got weakened. Its age is 246, even though its life expectancy is 10. I'm sorry, Blesh. Oh god, he hit him! Run away. Oh no, no, I'm just so. He's gonna die! Is it dead yet? It's left hearing sensor. It's thorax. Alright, nice. Manipulation at 65%. <laughs> That's all I care about, just kill it! Yes! We live! <laughs> I was so sure we were all gonna die! Working. Okay, uh, hold, hold the dead sky there. Oh my god, that was terrifying! Okay, whew! Well, I'm gonna take a break here. Um, we've discovered that you should not just open up this thing, and that premonition apparently was quite true. Alright, well thanks for watching, I'm gonna take a break here. Everyone, I'll see you again soon.